To thread your machine for regular sewing, it is common to use an all-purpose thread in the needle and the bobbin. However, for embroidery, it is most common to use a rayon or polyester thread in the needle. For the bobbin, it is best to use a lighter weight thread such as bobbin fill. By using a lightweight thread in the bobbin, your embroidery designs will be less dense on the back than if standard weight thread is used. Remove the bobbin cover plate by pushing the release button to the right while pushing down on the bottom left corner of the plate. Then remove the cover. Your machine comes with a class 15J bobbin. It is recommended that you use only class 15J bobbins in your machine. To wind the bobbin, the machine can either be set up in standard sewing mode or with the embroidery unit attached. Place the thread spool onto the spool pin and secure it with the appropriately sized spool cap. Pull the thread out from the spool and place it through these thread guides. First in front of this guide, then into this guide, and then around the bobbin winding tension disc. Pull the end of the thread through the hole in the bobbin. Place the bobbin onto the bobbin winder as far down as it can go, with the end of the thread coming from the top of the bobbin. Hold on to the end of the thread, then push the bobbin winder lever against the bobbin until it clicks and the bobbin begins to rotate. If you wish, you can push the bobbin winder back to stop and trim the thread tail, then push it against the bobbin again to resume filling. When the bobbin is full, the bobbin winder lever will move back and the winding will stop automatically. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread. To insert the bobbin, raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. Place the bobbin into the bobbin case, then pull the thread to check that the bobbin turns counterclockwise. Pull the thread first into this groove and then to the left. With a finger held gently on top of the bobbin, pull the thread until it slips into this next slot. Now pull the thread along the groove on the needle plate until it is snipped with the thread cutter on the top left of the needle plate. Replace the bobbin cover. To replace bobbins during the embroidery process, raise the presser foot lifter, remove the hoop from the machine and trim the thread but do not remove the fabric from the hoop. Replace the bobbin. Reattach the hoop. Lower the presser foot, then continue. To thread the upper part of the machine, raise the presser foot lifter. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise until the needle is in its highest position. Place the thread spool onto the spool pin and secure it with the appropriately sized spool cap. Bring the thread in front of this guide. Pull it into the guide at the top of the machine. Continue bringing the thread straight down the groove at the front of the machine and then into the guide located just above the needle. Your machine features a built-in needle threader to help you thread the needle quickly and effortlessly. Here's how it works. Hold the thread tail in your left hand and guide it into the twin thread guide on the threading mechanism. Then bring it up and over the thread holder at the side of the machine. Pull the thread tail to trim the excess thread. Now press down on the threading lever located here at the side of the machine. Release the lever and your needle will be threaded automatically. The thread tension control should be set at S for regular sewing mode. However, the thread tension control should be set to E for embroidery once the embroidery unit is attached. This loosens the upper thread tension for embroidery so that the needle and bobbin threads lock on the back side of the fabric and are not visible on the top side. You may still adjust thread tension if desired, depending on the type of fabric or thread being used. When doing machine embroidery, it is recommended that you use Singer Chromium needles. These needles are designed to last for many hours of embroidering and will also result in better quality embroidery.